We are headed to New York. Now you're in New York. We're going to New York because our book is launching in two days. We're so excited to go there. We have some fun things lined up. We couldn't bring all the kids, but we brought one out of the three. Any guesses? Oliver, your first time in the city, boy. You better behave. Our best friend John is going to meet us there, and we're just so excited. And this is also my birthday, like post, um, a week post my birthday. I hope you're doing this in the darkest, like, garage, you know. Well, we're back. I didn't want to wait. I know. That's the problem. I should have so we waited. We literally get to the airport and get our stuff, you know, through security. See you in New York. <laughs> Oliver, you got your beanie on. You're ready for the city. Oh my gosh, literally no chill. Daddy is just very excited for New York. Do you have chill? Yes, you do. Literally, what in the world? He has zero chill. We have like literally an hour and a half, two hours before our flight leaves. And he's just so excited. He's Racing to the back of the truck. Oh, can we talk about this? A lot has changed since the last time I vlogged. I drink coffee now. Wow. You're legit. Wow. Wow. You're incredible. you now he officially yeah. loves you and recognizes you yeah, yeah, uncle johnny oh my is that the last time you saw that's him wonderful. <gasps> that's actually wonderful hold me a glass Steve. <laughs> i pulled myself a glass no no question serious question are we going to each have our own day in new york if you seen the vermont I think the vlog best you idea know. would be me having every single day and you just listening and shutting up. Oh my gosh! Tomorrow is Cezanne's day and Tuesday is Cezanne's day and Wednesday can Actually, be Steve's Oliver day. Actually, Oliver gets all the days yeah. and as his guardian, I'll pick for him. Thank you. I love that. It's 11 o'clock right now. We just got back from dinner. It's 11.30 Sunday. <laughs> this is John. Hold on. And then look right now as I'm nursing. That's a milk Sunday. Ready? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Whoa. I got a fart no, I don't have to tell you and you know <gasps> the drill. Let me get it, John. Do this at the Ralph, John? Yeah. Oh, dude, yes. This is midnight in New York. Yeah, when you walk 20,000 steps, you need to loosen it up, you know? Honestly, we actually did do that. Meanwhile, We are less than 24 hours away, John, from this book launching. How do you feel? What are your thoughts? I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. Show us the magic weapon. Today's the day. And Today's the day. And look how glam I am. Diana. Dirty Diana. <laughs> oh. 24 hours away from the book being out into the world in New York City. What are your thoughts? You know what? The good I'll be I'll be serious for a minute. The okay. good advice that I was given by one of my friends was just just really soak up the moment and appreciate the accomplishment instead of looking forward to the next thing. It's hard to do that. So I'm just We're in the city. We've got Oliver with us. One out of three of our kids. And he's dressed, We've got our bestie John. 
and we're gonna have a great launch. Also, he's head to toe Ralph Lauren except for his shoes, but he's Ralph Lauren today. He has his blue suit on. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a great day. You're right, let's soak it up. And this place is perfect Cafe for Clooney. brunch. It's one of our go-to spots. Um, Go ahead, it. show them, put them on. We've seen it in the movies. Just the, the whole neighborhood, like when you come to this area, is so cozy. Look at him and his smile. Look at that boy. Oh man. Almost four months, and he is looking like a 12 month old. <laughs> Ollie, why are you so delicious and plump? These people watching right now. Ollie, do you like New York, buddy? I can't believe he's here celebrating this book launch. I just you know can't. What, you know I'm done with him. You know what? Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. oh Cafe Leandre. How do you say it? Cafe Leandre. Cafe Leandre. Oh, what are you saying, buddy? Mom life. But honestly, after having a really hot summer in Texas, I could get down with this 50 degree weather nursing outside. It's nice. How expensive would it be to live in this neighborhood, do you think? This is like my favorite neighborhood in New York. I would John, come to Cafe Clooney every day. What's your estimate? Uh, to have a nice brownstone in this neighborhood? Nice. Six mil. No. Ooh, Jonathan's yeah. cakes. Where would you guys want to live if you could live in New York? Anywhere. Yeah, Greenwich, if you could live Soho, anywhere? West Soho. Village. Really? That whole, this whole area. Had the honor of shooting the book cover for two of my best friends, a real good. Two, sorry, wait, start over. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll cut that part out. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I won't. Had the honor of shooting the book cover for two of my best friends. A real good life comes out this October, and I couldn't be more proud of Stevie and Cezanne. We've lived so much life together from the early dating days to the breakup years, then on to marital bliss and parenthood with their three beautiful babies. I've watched them build a truly good life and am constantly amazed at how they always live in the moment and make the most of each day. In good times and bad, their eyes are fixed on God and their perspective is always oriented towards living each day with gratitude and intention. The book covers from a shoot we did last winter in Malibu, back where our lifelong friendship first began. Congrats, you two. I love you. <gasps> ah, that, 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 John. How long did it take you to write that? And tomorrow, it's out. Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Woo. Wow. Hey, get out of town. Well, telling these guys. Aww. Yeah. John, you're the you. best. <gasps> Look at that. Babe. You're a son of a gun. What'd you do? What is John? You, you know, it's just a chocolate hot fudge How'd sundae. You do it? This is not the most beautiful intro to today's day. John's writing on three cups of coffee. Oliver's an angel. Babe, I'm not sure what you're doing. <laughs> and then there's me, a published author. What are we doing today? I guess you'll just have to wait and see. First stop. First stop. 71st Street. Which is? Ralph's Coffee. Ralph's Coffee. Let's go. This coffee shop is such a vibe. Look at it. Look at how cute it is. This is like my favorite color green. John, you're matching it. Do you want to do inside, outside? Published author vibes. What do you think, Oliver? John, you're killing me. <laughs> the fact that he's holding it. No, I'm done with you. Currently getting ready. We are published authors. You're standing for Steve right now. Pretend to be Steve. He's pooping in the bathroom. <laughs> We have an exciting day in store. We spent the morning, John, doing what? Like cozy. Okay, first of all, we spent our morning on 71st and Madison. I was so coffee at Ralph's. 
Then we walked over to Central Park. Central Park. Then we went to a cozy bookstore. <laughs> Steve, I can almost like hear your pops. Please stop. Today, we're getting ready to um, do a couple things for the book launch. Um, we've just been really celebrating having the quiet morning to just soak in all the fall feels, this cozy book, and getting ready now because we have something very exciting that we get to go experience and see happening in Times Square. You guys, I'll just tell you, it's a billboard. Our book is going to be advertised in Times Square. Literally, I feel like the epicenter of the world is Times Square. So we are so excited we get to get our message out there on these busy streets filled with people. And I'm just praying that God is going to work his magic. This book is going to get into as many hands as possible and that this message is going to resonate with an audience. So today's a really fun day. I'm just soaking in all the moments because I feel like these, I just know like this is going to go by so fast. Kind of feels like my wedding day. I'm not going to lie. When Steve and John asked me today, like, how does this feel? I just was like, as we were all kind of like debriefing, I said, it kind of feels like our wedding day, you know, like leading up to our wedding, there was just so much happening. There was so much just chaos, honestly. And if you know our story, then you know it goes so deep with like family and all the things. And so today just felt like with our book, there's been so many things leading up to it that also have been just chaotic. It, there's just been a lot of noise, a lot of distraction. I've even shared with my subscribers club on IG, yeah, just like the day-to-day -day demonic attacks we've been having just around this book launch. Things have just been really crazy. It's been very unexpected, just the, the way the journey has played out. But today, it felt like the wedding day. So peaceful. I'm so truly at ease and I'm happy and I'm content. And I'm just trying to soak it in because it's going to go by so fast, just like our wedding day did. So I'm currently getting ready and I'm ready for a fun day as a published author. Ah! Oh my gosh, we are in Times Square <laughs> and we're freaking out because there's a little something behind us that we cannot imagine. Don't look, don't look yet. I haven't seen it in person, only on the billboard. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. I am freaking out. The first time I ever came to New York City was for this company I was interning for, and it was brutal. I mean, I was pulling all-nighters. I didn't even get to go to Fashion Week. I was giving out postcards outside of Lincoln Center. And look at me now with my little suit on. <laughs> Cheers, you guys! So cheers. Yay! Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers, What better way to celebrate this day than with cars? <laughs> um, we just left Times Square and thoughts? Amazing. <laughs> what were your thoughts when you first saw it? I give a little schoolgirl. How many times did people walking by look at us and put two and two together? They couldn't believe I took the photo. That's what they said. Did you take it? I said, yes. <laughs> they were guys, like, this guy he came up to you and like gave he you a handshake. He pointed at me and goes, I see you. That was sweet. What a day. What an hour. What a day it's been. Okay. And the day's not over yet. We are heading to Barnes and Nobles and Union Square to do some secret signed copies. So if you're we'll in NYC, copies. go and find them. You're right. What Let's name go. are you signing? I wish I got you a matching sweatshirt, or would that have been lame? No, I would not wear it. I don't do that. I actually look great. I look like a New Yorker. A New Yorker. I'm thinking sushi tonight, Johnny. Yes, he. There's nobody else we would want it in New York. John, you're the absolute best. I know that the trip isn't over yet, but in case I forget to do an outro. <laughs> <laughs>
And John has a podcast now. Tell him about your podcast. This is actually your podcast release party. Yeah, that's the point. Check it. Oh, there you go. That's the point. And you're you're doing that podcast with this random girl. I don't know what her name is, but I don't either. She's anyways, not worth even talking. I yeah. Do I look like a grandma a little bit tonight? You're, you look like a published author. Like Woo! This is crazy. I've always wanted to do this, and now I get to do it. Like I'm going to sign it without paying for it. I should have really worked on my signature before I came here. <laughs> That's perfect. Why are you laughing? Are we messing these up? <laughs> yeah, my penmanship is, that... my penmanship is atrocious. Uh, you want to talk about real? We need to work on Look our signatures. <laughs> Look at mine. What Mine's is bad, Steve. I, I forgot how to write with the pen. Uh, this is mine. Should I sign one? Since I'm with the pal, just sign. John, John, sign yours, John, on this one. This is a special copy. John Volk, who took the photos, is going to share. Wow. You're going to say who's the third person. <laughs> I love it. And look. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> 